There he is. There he is. How we doing? Just because I'm shouting for some reason. Aft. How you been keeping Matt, anyways? What's your opinion on unlicensed bare knuckle boxing? Um, sounds like a good time. Good, good. I've just got access to uh to uh a location. I'm gonna be putting on some bare knuckle boxing, trying to figure out if there's much demand. That's all. You know, we'll we'll all, we'll, we'll be all over that. I know you lot will be because you know you're from back home. Bare knuckle boxing's in our blood. Hmm. I think Sparky will love the sound of that though. Probably. I mean, you haven't, you haven't got to sit down. I'm also going to go and sit down over in the corner over here. It's a bit more... A bit yeah, more yeah. So nice. This is actually uh, Denzel's favourite place to sit down. Yeah, it's good. It's like a warm, cosy feeling, isn't it? It is, mate. It's why I like it. Do you want some, do you want some champagne? Ah, I'm alright. Don't drink me. I don't drink, bro. You don't drink? Yeah, How believe it or not. I'm 20. Why is it, mate? You're like the fifth person today who doesn't drink. Yeah. Is it? No wonder, no wonder your fucking man damn pub didn't take off. Bro, I want to see. I can't sit still, so you know what I mean. The Mandan pub, I, it, I was never too keen on it, but you know what I mean, they always got to support the boys, though. Yeah, well, it's a between. I mean, I say between me and you, it's not like a fucking secret. Cruiser uh, gave me the keys to the place to, to run events there. Yeah. So I'm it's hoping it was, it, it, it's not being used, mate. And it, it upset me that it wasn't being used because it's so. Muscat, so man. Did you know what I mean? So I'm gonna try and start getting, you know, like uh, maybe like two, two events. Oh, a month. biscuit! Very thank you for the six months, PC like, bro. Two events a month. Thank you, mate. Get, get a bit of life in there. You know, yeah, get a bit of social bro. Life, make some money, sell some drinks. You know, it's such a good spot. You know, so it's a shame it's not being used. It is a shame. Now, PC biscuit. Thank you, brother. Right, there's a few things. Number one. I know with the boys not around, you're hanging out with other people at the moment. And they would be, I want to say, Hydra? Hydra, Angels, VFT, bro, whoever's about I'm with. You know what I mean? All sorts of people. Now, here's my next question, man. Oh, my God. Do you have salesman inclination in this? Say that again. Do you have a salesman's <laughs> inclination in you? Uh, I am a salesman. On you have been absolutely scammed, and I have I stopped it. More like, <laughs> it. I'm not sure I'm believing you. Hmm. I didn't hear a word he said. Listen, I I can try my best to sell, but you know what I mean. I've struggled in the past. Fair enough. Now the reason I asked, right, is that you know you, uh, you know I know you're spending time with different firms, and, and it's mostly different firms that I don't really know. Hmm. Now. For one reason or another, some entities in this city have decided that I'm trustworthy with some items that most people don't have access to. Okay. And I was thinking, you know, because, you know, you're around at the moment and... Peace you done, bro. On and you're sort of, you know, you're pushing yourself out there to try and do your own thing. That maybe, while you're doing your own thing, you wouldn't like, I don't know, to, you know, make a bit of money at the same time. You mentioned okay. that the vault was your only source of income at the moment. Yeah. So, would you be interested if I gave you some product... And I'm not talking about like cocaine or anything stupid like that. Yeah. No one gives a flying fuck. I'm talking about, you know, high end uh, firearm accessories, if you catch my drift. Okay. So, like uh, attachments. Some, um, yeah, mate, attachments, you know, like pistol silencers, rifle silencers, extended magazines, that sort of thing. With the, uh, with the people I'm like, uh, I'm pretty well connected with, and they have like, they obviously have their own suppliers and that, uh, you know, they're well connected too. So, it's one of those do things. They have their own suppliers of, yeah, that's what I was going to get on to. Like, yeah. uh, them sort of stuff are, are hard to get your hand by. And when I like uh -huh. when I say that, they're hard to get your hand by quick. So, But the good thing is, is I've got a tap in straight to the source. And that's why I want to hear if I'm going through yeah. any of that. I, I um, mean, I'll be honest with you. When I've got stuff to sell, it means I've literally got it to sell. Like, now, there it is, you know. I know some people do to order. You know, oh, you want five, I'll get you five in two days. And then I with me. You want five? Bang! There you go. There's five. Yeah. Well, I could definitely, uh, I could definitely find a lot of people that'd be interested in silences. Okay. Extended mags. Well, let me Not too. Like people aren't too keen, but bro, I reckon I could probably get thirty silences gone in two days easily. Okay, that's very good. That's good. I tell you what, you you find out what sort of pricing your uh, your friends would be interested in, or what they're currently buying it for. Let me know, and then I'll see. I'll see about getting you thirty. And you, you reckon if I hand you thirty, you'll get rid of them in two days? Mm, hopefully, I reckon I could do that. I reckon okay. I can. Because if I hand you thirty, I'm so gonna get you, you flop, bro. I've got it muted. I'm so sorry, bro. Agreed. Two days later. Hmm. So. Yeah. So don't don't write a check you can't cash. 
That's true. That's true. No, I, honestly, I there's such a market for that sort of stuff. It's one of those. Are uh, is uh. Let me let me how speak about, to people. See how many that how, people want to buy. How, how about we do a little test, right? So mm. I know you said these sending magazines people aren't so interested in right now. So, that, but let, I want to test out what you know your network and what you can do. So if I give you five of those <laughs> and say just shift them by Friday, do you reckon that'd be fair? Yeah, let's do that. How much? How much are you it, getting them for? And how much are you like trying to sell them on market? Oh, it doesn't matter how much I'm getting them for, right? So is 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 the way we've priced it, right? So it's fifteen k for one, right? Okay. Nice and cheap. Now is what they do in case you don't know. They add an additional five rounds to the firearm they are putting Browning or Desert Eagle, right? So they turn a Browning into a twenty round gun. Ain't too shabby. Ain't too shabby. So they last between seven and nine days. If they're brand new, they'll last nine days. Okay. At the moment, they'll last about seven. So it's 15 grand for one, 13,500 if someone buys all five. That's the price of pricing we've been using. So by all means, you know, if you want to use that, please do. Now, from you, what do you mean I want know. is 10 grand per, right? So any, anything more than 10 grand, that's money for you, okay? Mm, okay. So you sell five, you make 25 grand. Bang, easy. So that's the magazines. That's the magazines. Now, the silencers... I'm trying to negotiate a bulk price right now for my supplier. So I'm going to use 30 as an example. But in the meantime, if you let me know what sort of price your uh, friends normally buy them at, I can see if I can't, you know, I, as long as I match it or maybe come on, come a little bit under, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That's a that pistol just got or a... rifle suppressors. Uh, Are you going on Brownings or Desert Eagles? I honestly both would get shifted. Okay. I, I, I honestly don't should see. We start, should we start with pistol, or, or do you want to, or fifteen of each? You know what I mean. What we looking Listen, at? Listen, right I now? ain't breading, and I can't guarantee I can get these shifted. I think I could. Don't get me wrong. Well, but, um, what, why don't you have some conversation with some? Let people? me have some conversations. See who actually yeah. shows interest, and then we'll go from there. Yeah, there you go. And then in the meantime, you know, you've got these uh, five extended to, to to shift as like a test. And equally, if you shift them quickly, that will put, I'll put a little bit of confidence in you, won't you? Okay, fuck me, I can sell. I don't think I could sell with extended mags. I'm going to keep it real with you. You can't, what, you can't sell with everyone you know. You don't I, think you could sell? I don't think anyone's asked about them in slightest. I uh, see. So far, in the last two days, I think I've sold 27. 27? That is not bad. Yeah. Well, I sold 10 to one person this morning. Mm. The reason people don't ask about them is much like suppressors right now, they're a bit, a little bit like unicorn shit. Bro, it's throwing. I'm not asked about, you know what I mean? And as far as I'm aware, I'm doing it for RP, not for one um... source for them. Now, that source happens to have handed it to two different groups, myself and another. In the last, by my estimations, in the last two weeks, at least 60 to 70 of them have passed from one hand into another. Okay. Well, I'll be interested because. I don't think well, the man the boys will show much interest and in... yeah. Denzel bought one this morning. Saint bought one this morning. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Have you had this conversation with Denzel? Uh no, I didn't I didn't see Denzel. It was uh it was Flint and uh Flint just bumped into him and off off you know, sort of off chance and was like, Here you go, do you want one of these? And Denzel was like, Yeah, I'll have one. And I'll see I what I can do. Saint earlier and I said, Oh Saint, do you want one of these? She went, Yeah, I'll have one. I mean it's literally it's that's pretty much how long the conversation was. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. They don't. They don't crazily appeal to me, but I can speak to people. And I, I guess it, it kind of depends, you know, like what what you're going about and doing. If you if you on the reg getting in fucking big shootouts with the PD or another or another fucking firm, I mean personally, I'd rather light five more rounds before I got a reload. That's mm. just me. And equally, let's be honest. Even if they're buying them one at a time, fifteen grand in this city, that's not a lot of money. It's not a lot of money, but if you're shooting out of a, a 20 grand gun, 15 grand is a lot, you know? That is true. That is true. I mean, I would I would try and argue with the supplier that there's got to be a way of trying to cut down the costs. You know, I mean, that that is a very good point. Or they're saying that, what, what's a Browning going for these days? Is it, is it 20 or is it 27? Probably 20, 23, 24, it's my guess. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it makes a bit more sense to slap one on a Desert Eagle, doesn't it? Because, you know, Desert Eagles go for fucking dumb money. Yeah, oh, they'd be. By the way, anyone grand. you know needs some Desert Eagles. I've got a contact who's got six of them, um, and they're shifting them at forty grand a gun. Okay. And how Just many bodies do they have on them? None. They've been sat in a fucking storage for too long. Okay. 
there are, I mean, I say too long. I mean, it's you know, if you if you look at the thing, you'd say, I mean, it's it's still like seventy percent solid. You know what I mean? But what are you grand for that? In bad. That's what I, that's what I was thinking, mate. But the bloke whose storage they were in, he knows he isn't going to wake up for like a week. So he's given them to a mate and said, look, look fucking just, just get rid of them, mate. I won't be around for a week. And they'll fucking go to shit in my storage in a week. So, Yeah, try and make the most of it. Exactly. So if you know anyone who needs some fucking Desert Eagles, let me know. I can put you in touch with the bloke who's got them. I mean, I haven't got them. I'm not making any money from this. I'm just helping people find other people, you know? Yeah, of course, bro. Well, right. Then, other than that, I'm going to need your... You know, better than better driving skills. Mm. More than likely, sooner rather than later, for that job that we discussed. Okay. You got a day or, or date in mind? Not yet, mate. Because we're waiting on uh, we're waiting on some information from the owner of the business. You know what I mean? Because uh, you know we're waiting on him to basically do the security changes we suggested he do. And once that's been done, we'll know that we've got the green light to go in. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm here whenever, and I can drive, so just let me know what I need to do. You still want me to scout the place, or? Honestly, mate, I think you scouting the place would be a phenomenal use of time, just because it's a bit of a cunt location, isn't it? It's very easy to get bottlenecked down a little so. And yeah. I mean, the hardest bit is going to be getting out of that fucking car park out front. There's only one way out. I think, um... I think if we can try and get out the gas station side uh, and have cars there. Oh, you mean slip down the alleyway and go? Yeah, because I'm telling you, every intersection north of that place is going to be police I mean, there. So. Mate, if you wanted to, like, we could go right now, have a little, have a little look, see. Yeah, let's let's do Me it. You. There we go. Right, I've got a, one of my boys. Mm -mm. Oh, boom. Oi, oi. Right, mate, how you doing? You right? I've got a missed call. Hello? 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 I definitely had the edge to move, yeah. Well, in fact, me and... Uh, That's the thing, I'm not that asked uh, about shift and stuff for, like, our humour, the conversation, a little, but... Uh, look around. So, if you, you know, yeah, for security reasons. Mm, I probably led him on too much about actually shifting stuff from I can't lie. Yeah, it's, it's, it's in... The it's job in, that I'm here for. It's in Little Soul, mate. Yeah, it's a jeweler's, mate. All right, meet us there. Hello. We're up to Denzel. Yeah, I'm going to have the conversation hey, with Denzel and see if he's interested. Where's your car, mate? Uh, I walked here, mate. Let's go across the road and grab a...